All right, 27-year-old virgin. Jesus Christ. Uh, hey, Billy, I'd love to hear your humorous take on my pathetic situation. First of all, dude, let's work on your self-esteem. All right, you're already shitting all over yourself. Um, all right, watch this guy. Watch him shit all over himself. I'm a 27-year-old virgin. Oh, Jesus. Uh, that's what he wrote. Now, your first question is going to be, how the fuck did that happen? Well, to protect myself, I'd actually prefer, prefer to keep my background as quiet as possible. Hey, I'm not trying to get you to rat yourself out. Here's what I can say. I come from a rich town inhabited by obnoxious cunts. I was always the weird kid and very socially awkward. People hated me no matter how nice I was. Jesus Christ, dude. Are you like a superhero? That's like the exact same background of like every fucking superhero movie, isn't it? It's probably because nerds write those movies. Because they don't know how to fight, and all of a sudden they're like, what if I knew how to fight? What if I could fly? What if there was a guy who could save me? Um, and then they draw it. And then nerds line up around the block to go see it. Dude, you see the new Spider-Man? Yes, it's exactly like the other ones. Um, I was always the weird kid and very socially awkward. People hated me no matter how nice I was, and eventually I came to hate myself and still do. I called it. Dude, I fucking called it. Uh, he's shitting all over himself. Eventually, it was discovered that I most likely have a mild case of Asperger's syndrome, which is a mild form of autism, which is way out of my league. Are you guys trying to make me look dumb? I thought I did that. I achieved that by how awful I read out loud. <sighs> Here we go. That causes social ineptitude and quirky personality traits. Well, I would go find a hooker with Asperger's. That's the first thing I would do. And get the fucking V off my back. Definitely wear a condom. See, that's where my advice is going to be coming from. You guys have some weird conversation in some ironic vehicle. Um, at least discovering this made me more of self-aware. And I've been able to clean up my act over the last few years. But I still have a lot of social anxiety and shyness and very few friends. On the flip side, I'm actually pretty decent looking. I have a decent job in a laboratory. He's a fucking... He's going to get bit by something radioactive, and he's going to become a superhero. Uh, and I'm a certified commercial pilot and do volunteer work. Dude, like, you know something? If if I was in the FBI, like, so many fucking red flags just went up there. Uh, okay, that's the setup now. Now for the question. First, what the fuck would you do if you were in my situation? I told you, I'd get a hooker with Asperger's syndrome, and you guys could just bond over that. Uh, I, I don't know. Let me, let, me, let me read all your questions. I'm obviously kidding about trying to find a hooker with Asperger's sy syndrome, all right? You couldn't find one. That would be like needle in a haystack. What you'd have to do is go to an escort service and request that personally, um, I would think. I'm looking for 36, 24, 36 with Asperger. Hair color does not matter. Yes, I can hold. Um, next, if if eventually ever, I ever do make it anywhere with a chick, should I tell her up front about my status? I had this conversation a few weeks ago with a friend who has a lot of romantic experience, and she said it would be extremely obvious that I'm new to the game and that withholding that information could itself be detrimental. But I also know that if I do tell a chick I'm 27-year-old virgin, she will demand an explanation before going any further, and it will send up red flags for the most. What do you do, Bill? Thanks for doing your awesome podcast, and go fuck yourself. All right, this is what I would do. I would just start hitting on every chick that fucking interests me, and I would be just totally honest. Tell, them, tell her what your, your, uh, your situation is, and, uh, you know, if she doesn't accept it, then fuck her. Let her walk. And then you don't have to deal with any of the bullshit. You, or you just you just fast forward through a three-year fucking horrific relationship. Um, I would just be up front with people. I wouldn't open it with, hey, you have beautiful eyes and I have Asperger. I wouldn't do that. You know? Um, I would work on my self-esteem. I wouldn't talk shit. You, you just you shit on yourself right out of the gate. I mean, obviously, I knew you were going to do that when you said you were a 27-year-old virgin. And... and you, you're probably going to go that route, but uh, think good thoughts about yourself, man. I know that's kind of like simple, but I, you know, you got to like, you got to amp yourself up a little bit. Go out there and, you know, you don't have to go find the chick of your dreams, but just go out. You don't got to tell some girl you got fucking Asperger's syndrome. You don't. Why don't you just do that with somebody that you're really interested in? 
But if you just want to go out and get laid, just go out there, start hitting on chicks, turn it into a game. So you don't have to deal with the pain of the rejection. Just be like, all right, I don't have the balls to to take the next step. Whatever that step is, peeling yourself off the fucking wall, striking up a conversation, just saying hello to a pretty girl as she walks down the street, just try to get over that fucking hurdle and give yourself permission to suck, and you just you gradually build it up. It's like learning how to play guitar. You're not going to pick it up and immediately be able to play all your songs. You learn a couple of fucking chords, you know, then your fingers hurt, right? And you get frustrated, but you keep coming back, and eventually you can fucking play. Pussy is no different. <laughs> That's what I would do. Put the Asperger on the back burner. Who knows, dude? Maybe you're not as fucked up as you think you are socially. You know what I mean? Maybe you got a sense of humor under there. I think you do. You shit on yourself in a funny way. You know, spin it around that way. Do you have any interests? Go, go to a, go to a fucking, I don't know, whatever. You know, do you fly kites? Go to some fly in the kite convention. There's got to be some woman there who also likes kites. I know that was an overly simplified thing, but that's what I would do. All right? And then when you go to, like, uh, hook up with somebody, uh, and they, you know, and you, yeah, tell them if you start, you don't, don't know what you're doing, too. Watch a couple of fucking pornos. You know, you, you'll get the idea. Actually, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Because then you'll fucking start slapping them around. Yeah, don't do that. I don't know what to tell you, dude. Uh, right, get, buy some books. I say, go buy some buy some books in that, that, uh, that that part of the bookstore that you know if, if bookstores exist anymore go on go online there's got to be plenty of information i bet if you literally looked up finger banging technique if you looked how to kiss i bet there's just going to be reams of fucking information i've never done that cuz i never had to oh just kidding of course i had to you think that i didn't wish that fucking information was around way back in the day when you had no idea you just practiced kissing your fucking pillow and try to overhear conversations in the fucking high school cafeteria and try to figure out what people were talking about. That's all I had could do. You had, you had the whole world at your fingertips, you know? So when you're done in the laboratory working with radioactive shit before you, you, you get bit by something, you know, why don't you go out and get laid before you learn how to fly? All right? All right. <laughs> 